Ah, hello again, hello again. Having some weird issue with my camera. It came on really dark today for some reason. I don't know why. I adjusted it though, and I think it looks eh, okay. It's a little dim, but I'll figure it out later. I don't care to mess with it that much. So we're playing on some new world today instead of a flight. Might do a flight later though, but I wanted to try to get in on new world. Hmm. Hopefully I can actually get in. Just occurred to me. Yeah, there's no queue, so that's good. Kind of play my main character. I'm in just a small company. Just have some fun with some friends. It's just the three of us actually, which eh, it's good enough for now. Music in this game is fantastic. Last night I was playing this for a few brief moments last night and I was getting some really bad lag spikes. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again today. I gotta try to remember to keep my feet stable on the pedals down here. I have rudder pedals for my flying down here. And I like to sit here and just work the pedals back and forth. Kind of an exercise. Really laggy. It's probably going to be laggy as hell when I finally get in there. I don't know why, but I've been having some lag spikes lately. It didn't have the first few days I played it, but... Oh yeah, it's lagging because there's people standing around that don't have bodies. Great. It should only take a few moments for it to load in everything. I'll wait for it. This is weird because it didn't do this sort of thing back when the game was new. Like right when it came out, I played and it didn't do this weird loading in thing like this. 
That's peculiar. <laughs> Taking forever to load textures in. Strange, strange. Yeah. Uh, sound is all clippy. Weird. I've got it on full screen. I've got it on. That's good. That's good. No wonder it's taking so long. It's everything set to very high. Let's see here. What do I have? Effect details. Probably don't need that at very high, so we'll turn that down. Lighting. Lighting's probably good. Object. Processing detail. Hey, a ghostly. How are you doing? You're right. It's not a whole new world to me. I played the beta. <laughs> but we are still discovering new things. Just trying to get everything set good. Uh, water probably doesn't need to be very high. FPS. We're having some issues with the um, game lagging a little bit, which is kind of annoying. I'm doing good. Had a couple of good flights yesterday on my simulator, so that was fun. Uh, let's see. Dynamic resolution scaling. That should be good. Now, what else do we have? I know there's something in here about Twitch, but I can't remember what it is. Because you do link your Twitch to the game. I don't know what it actually is. Oh my god, the lag. For fuck's sake. That's really annoying. What the hell is that? Oh my gosh. This game is so laggy for me now. I don't know what they did to it, but it didn't used to lag like this. Ugh. Details down. Oops, not medium. No. Hi. Come on. Oh my god. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing, wifey? I wondered if you were going to see me on. I was going to message you, but I didn't know if you were busy. game is being bad. I don't know why, but all of a sudden it's lagging like hell. Which is really annoying. And now it's lagging on the menu. Ah. <sighs> the hell? I know, right, Ghostly? It didn't do this the other day. After launch, it was fine. But now it's getting all shit. Fuck. 
No, my computer can handle the game. Fuck. But it's taking forever to load in resources. And I even restarted my computer this morning. Yeah, I did. I did, honey. Because it was doing this last night, and I figured it was something messed up, but... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Flight Simulator is probably a lot more detailed than this, and it runs perfectly fine. Well, I mean... Mostly. I don't remember what settings I had. I really want to get this working good. Wow, it doesn't even have the custom settings there. Let's go here. I think I'm having... Let me see something real quick. Okay, that's good now. That's weird. Last night, my uh, title wasn't showing up. And all my achievements over here were showing like uninitialized like they were there for a second. But now they're all there. Really annoying when it does that though. My friend list is not empty. I'm in freaking group with my friends. Hmm. Weird. I'm guessing there's something I'm forgetting on here. I don't know what it could be. Uh, medium quality water. Textures. Good. Post processing details. Let's turn that to medium. Lighting, I'm gonna keep there. Objects, effects on medium. Still really laggy. Wow. That's annoying as fuck. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do I have to do? Well, that's annoying. I can't even see the freaking markers for my quests. They're supposed to be on that compass that's across the top of the screen. Can't see them at all. I think they're messing about with the game and messing things up. This lag is just terrible. Yeah, I can't do that. That's a shame. Uh, gonna have to go back. Change things over here. Hang on just a sec. We will play planes then. Come on. <laughs> you think? It's weird because it didn't do that. Like, I got it on Tuesday, you know, like, um, when it came out and everything, and it was fine. Um, all Tuesday and Wednesday, everything was perfectly normal. Um, I didn't have to worry about a thing. <clears throat> Turn that off. There we go. And we will change our category. Uh, what should we title? New World Lag. Lag, so we fly instead. Where are we going to fly today? Uh, light Simulator, this one. Let's see, should we take off from where I landed last night uh, on the stream? Because I did. 
I landed in New Orleans and then turned off the stream and then later I flew again to Charlotte, North Carolina. And that was a really good flight. Um, let's see here. Do all that. Let's see, we got that there. Don't mind back seating for that. We'll update this. France to England. You know that's not very far, right? I can do that if you want me to. Uh, fly from, um, what's that place called? I forget what the airport in Paris is called. I think we'll do this short flight from um, Charlotte to, or from New Orleans to Bad New World. We flew out of there. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Gotta get my laptop up so I can pull up my charts. I don't think I want to see Sav right now. She's in a mood. I mean, I assume she's in a mood after what happened. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say too much. She posted about it in her Discord. If you uh, want to look. Okay, let's see. Got to get my laptop up and running here. I've got to get... What do I need over here? I'm going to go ahead and set up this. Oh, that's updated? Okay, good. <laughs> um, got to turn on my mouse. She had an issue with somebody messing with, you know, her personal life and relationship, so, yeah. And we all know who she was hanging out with the other day. It doesn't take a genius. <laughs> Let's plan a flight. We're gonna fly sky west again. Six nine seven eight. On a CRJ and hopefully this stuff won't update itself automatically. We're gonna go from New Orleans. So KMSY is the New Orleans airport. We're going to Charlotte. So KCLT is Charlotte Douglas International. Yes, ghostly kitty cat. Kitty cat had a bit of an issue. <sighs> kind of disappointing. I didn't think she would actually, you know, do that. But I guess you just don't know about some people. But then I don't want to gossip either, so let's let that be the end of it, all right? Rally Durham, we've got our flight briefing. Okay. Pull this over here. Put that there. Come on. What? Can I not pull up the bottom edge of this? Darn it. There we go. Hey, Woodcock. How are you doing? I am having a wonderful day. Thank you for asking. It's good to see you again. We're getting ready to start a flight. I was going to play New World, but New World's having issues. Um, is very, very, very laggy on New World. So, we're going to do some Flight Simulator instead. 
Well, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> it's good to see you. Just have to get Microsoft Flight Simulator started up here. and It takes a while, so. Oh yeah, I need to get my Navigraph charts up over here. have a current flight set up but I can load one from Simbrief like that we're flying from New Orleans to uh, Charlotte North Carolina actually I'm drinking Dr. Pepper right now this will probably be the only Dr. Pepper I drink today hopefully I will get water after this. Maybe in the middle of the flight. I do have to remember to keep myself hydrated uh, nicely, so yeah, water is good for that. Oh, and honey, I didn't see you ask about the um, background pr uh, process. The only thing I have running in the background would be the um, streaming software to capture everything. And that wouldn't cause it because I didn't have it running last night. Um, I didn't have anything else running in the background that could have caused an issue. No. I don't know, there's just something really wrong all of a sudden with New World, and it's not fun. I might try, um, after stream today, I might try um, try logging on to a different server that has a lower ping. Even though I don't think that'll have anything to do with it. I might have to verify the uh, game files on Steam. I don't know. Lots of different things it could be that I have to check and see what, what works and what makes it actually run right. Because if it still lags even on the other server, yeah. Big Glyphsia smile. What do you think you are? <laughs> we'll do this flight in the CRJ and then we'll see where we are and what we feel like doing with maybe another flight or changing planes possibly i do like the crj an awful lot but i feel like i've been flying it a lot lately but i mean i really like flying <laughs> so there's that who do you think you are <laughs> Yeah, I was just teasing you, ghostly. It's like those things where you see uh, the guys that tell the women just to smile or something like that, which is toxic. I know you didn't mean it like that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> I do my best. Got my flight plan. Loading up my Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this will be more fun. At least this will actually work. Um, let's see, flying the CRJ, so set my throttle for zero. Because I have the throttle set to where, like, 
It's got little numbers on the base of the throttle, and when it's at 25, is about idle for the throttles in the CRJ. And then as I pull it back farther from that, when I'm actually flying the plane, it can enable the reverser um, engines, which is what I use when I land to slow the plane down, which I have to arm in the plane or else they don't work. But, uh, you know, from 25 back is reversers and everything forward is, um, you know, throttling up and everything. So before I even get in the CRJ, I set my throttle at the right place. Brothers moving in next year just because I have a PS5 as I'm getting God of War Ragnarok. Help me. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, that game looks pretty cool, too. Okay, let's see here. Go to KMSY. Louis Armstrong, New Orleans International. And we're going to load at the North Terminal because that's the only terminal that has... Let me set that so I can see the actual spaces over here. We're going to set that as departure. And I'll have to check the weather. I haven't really done anything today because I've spent all my time with family, but how are you? I'm doing wonderful, Matthew. I mean Woodcock. Man, it just sounds weird calling you Matthew. <laughs> After all the time of, of Sav and everybody calling you Woodcock. <laughs> I'm busy here, Gusley. I'm trying to work on moving in with my wife because she's currently uh, a ways away. And we're trying to, you know, get everything all set so that we can, uh, you know, live together. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Look at you unlocking those li uh, emotes. Of course, it's a cute emote. Why wouldn't you? Ooh. Thunderstorms in New Orleans today. So that's fun. At least it says there is. Last night I spawned in there and there wasn't. You need more point redemptions. I have 2.5k points. Yeah, I do, I do. You also have points in there. And I believe you can do gamble. Uh, gamble 400. Yeah. Same sort of thing Sav has, I think. Also, you can join my Discord. You can follow me on my socials. Uh, what else do I have for commands? I have an Amulus on wishlist now. <laughs> um, I think I have a... Oh, yeah, I have Kofi if you wanted to contribute. Kofi is really good because they don't take any, like... Um, deductions out of it unless you tell them that they can. So it's a much better way to like contribute to a streamer than uh, some other ways. But yeah, I went through and I set all, all the, the wish list and, and Kofi, th Kofi, is it said Kofi, I think? Because it looks like Wi-Fi. But I set all that up the other day, um, Friday night, I think, actually. I forgot it completely yesterday. Yeah, they don't take, like, a big compensation out of any um, tips or donation things that you get from them. I hear rain. I hear the rain, but I don't see much rain. Well, yeah, I guess there is some rain on the windshield there. It's kind of hard to see, though. Minimize these things here. Let's get a jetway out here. Come on over. And I'll open the side door, put the stairs down, cargo doors open, get a ground power cart over here. I'm going to turn cabin lights up. Thank you for the lurk, Woodcock. We hope to see you back soon. 
I will try to stay on for a longer period today, probably. Just to make sure everybody gets to come in and say hi. <laughs> okay, let me get my flight plan thingy over here. Oh my god, it fucking messed up again. <sighs> I know that. Come on. That's not what I wanted. I mean, that works, but it's not what I wanted. Why did this mess up my flight again? Ugh. I set up the flight beforehand and then it overwrites it for some reason whenever I finally get into the darn thing. Hi Putra, welcome in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. I tried to play some New World earlier, but yeah, it didn't work. So we're playing Flight Sim instead. There we go. Now I got the flight plan where I want it. Okay, time to put in the performance numbers. I need to change to zero fuel weight. I am well. Thank you for asking. Zero fuel weight, 27756. Enter, and then our fuel, we need 4561. Enter, enter. Make sure everything's entered. Everything's good there. Then we hit that and hit that. And fuel weight 27756, fuel 4561, payload. Yep, everything looks good there. That's good, that's good. Alrighty, let's come over to the... Put that away. Get the battery turned on and the power. We'll turn on the nav lights, hydraulic. Turn the no smoking lights on. Arm the uh, emergency lights and turn the recirculating fan on. That's all good. Come down here to lower, and we really don't need the integrated lighting to in the daylight, because we'll be able to see everything anyway. But I always turn it up just a little bit anyway. It makes everything stand out just a little bit. And it is kind of dark here today because of the rain. Um, let's see. What runway do we have today? 29. That's a different runway. Runway? I need to actually set up my um, charts over here. Uh, New Orleans actually doesn't have any SID departures, so we just uh, vector our way around to our um, course. 29, 29. Which one is that? 29 would be the opposite end. Okay, so I'm actually pretty close to the start of 29. Um, and then I need charts for the star for Charlotte, which is the John Z2 arrival. John Z2 arrival. And this says we're to expect runway 23 into Charlotte today. <clears throat> Airport info and parking gates. I'm going to pull up. Okay. That's all good. That's all good. Okay. Um, I've got the lights set. Let's go ahead and turn on the IRSs to get those started aligning. We'll hit the stab and mock trim real quick to get those started. Check the dates on our database. Everything's good there. So we just continue on. Input that. Then we go over to the next page and get the glow nest ship position in previous page. Stick that in right there. Everything's good there. Now the plane knows where we are. Hit KMSY again. And we're going to KCLT. Um, our alternate is Raleigh-Durham, I believe. KRD. 
KRDU. Yeah, KRDU. We're expecting runway 29 for departure. And a flight number today, because this flight doesn't actually exist, we're using SkyWest 6978 for a flight number. And execute that. Departures, there are none, just runway 29, and then we vector for the departure. Uh, for the flight plan, we're going to be going to a waypoint called Catlin, something like that. C A T L N, basically. Direct. It's quite a ways out there, but yeah. And then the first part of the arrival is going to be best. And we'll execute that, and then we'll go back to departures, departure index, arrivals. We're to expect the ILS for runway 23, which is an unusual runway at Charlotte. <clears throat> 23, 23. There we go. And the arrival is the John Z2 here. And the best transition. And vectors in. Now we go to the flight plan page and we look. And we've got some discontinuities we need to work out. So we go to the Blake's page. See, we've got two best in there. So I'll just overwrite the one by copying and pasting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Damn. Um, execute that. Check the rest of it for any other things. And then we have the approaches. And let me pull up the chart over here so I can check the waypoints on there. So... We're starting with that one, and then we come in to best, and then C and TLR, ever, cup, cake, Jonesy, or Jonesy, whatever it is, while, freak, <laughs> freak, appropriate. Uh, after freak, we have, it's Dosby, yeah, Dosby. And then, then's when it splits up. If we we're landing south, we would go to air, but we're landing southwest. So we're going to go to Rick. Pickle Rick! <laughs> and then Flare, and then Woo! And then we have the approach for the ILS, and it's telling me to vector around. To, let's see, ATEL. Yeah, it looks like ATEL is the next waypoint, uh, or the very last waypoint on the approach from there, so that should be good. No, you haven't missed takeoff yet. We're still setting up, getting everything prepared for takeoff and landing and all that sort of good stuff. The car don't need any waypoints after that, so that looks all good there. Let's go back to the flight plan page. Actually, no. I want to go to this. Turn that there. And turn that there. And go there. Previous. Yeah, here we go. So from the runway, we're going to Catlin, Best. And we'll make sure everything looks good on the um, navigation display. And it does have the... Uh, Altitude and speed constraints listed on there. Flare, and then woo, and then it's vectors to a tail, and then Lee car, and then it goes into the runway. Which, if I push next, it goes back to the original runway. If I push previous, it goes back, and it's at that runway. So weird how that works. But everything looks good there. Let's see. And set the that back up our runway heading for departure gotta get that pulled up real quick 286 other way 
Oops. And our file altitude is... 37,000. So we'll turn up to 37,000 on the display here. Probably can't see it because it's like behind my head, but there's a little display over here that I'm watching the altitude go up on. Whoops, too much. 37,000. Nice. Congratulations, Ghost. Win those Cali coins. <laughs> Uh, I believe I can go up here and it's safe to turn on the low window heat now. I'll turn on the probes after pushback. Um, and I need to start the APU. Let's see, I've got that turned on. Turn on that, that, and that. And, oh yeah, I can push these off. Um, Let's go ahead and start the APU. We'll open the APU door. I do think it has a cooldown. Ghostly. I think it's like 60 seconds though, as all. I think. It should be right. And the APU is coming up. While that's coming up, we're gonna go ahead and do our performance initiative. Initi initi whatever. I can't even speak, what the hell. We'll put the numbers in there, and then we'll come over here and copy our performance init data to FMS. And while we're here, we'll set our VREF speeds. Actually, this is a wet runway. There we go. Hmm. Maybe it's longer than 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not broken. Just wait a little bit longer and I'm sure it'll work. Okay, we'll execute that. Uh, next page. We could put in wins here from the flight plan, but I don't feel like looking them up and it's kind of unnecessary. Let's see. It's 1756, so I want to get off the ground by about 1805 maybe. Execute that, and I want the MFD menu. I'll turn on not VNAV. I'll turn on that. High nav aids that, and UTA. And I think that's all good there. So back to the performance in it we have that we got vnav we got our target speeds everything's set good there cruise altitude and target speed and descent transition altitude and target speeds all good everything's looking good there set on the progress page um <laughs> I think we're pretty good here. Just go back to this page here. I've got the APU running, so I don't need the ground card anymore. Gone. Go away. Uh, we'll get the chocks taken off. And I'm going to clip the jetway taken away. Shoot. Go on. There you go. Now that that's gone, I can close up the side door, close the cargo hatches. Uh, cabin Captain, lights cabin should be on. All are, are they? On wow. Crew, it's amazing they actually made it. We and we can start pushback. Go ahead and flip these to on. And the fuel pumps. Come on. Give me the mouse cursor. There we go. Come to on. Doo -doo -doo. The only problem I see with the Ko-Fi donation type thing is that there's no um, alert for it that I can tell. At least I haven't seen one yet. I don't know if there's something else that I could do to do that but 
Yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no alert. And we're going to go up here and start the engine. Turn all the hydraulics on to auto. And watch the engine start up. Gonna back slightly to the side here. Oh, way too far. And time to f turn on the throttle to turn on the engine. And look up and around. I think we're probably backed up good enough. So hold here, set the parking brake, stop the pushback, and I can close the pushback helper. Back down, the engine is spooling up. Let's set our flaps for takeoff, which is going to be eight. Okay, good start. Uh, arm the reversers. Oh, I forgot to turn on the beacon. Oops. Oh, the truck is gone. We'll turn those on. Okay. And here. And here. Awesome, awesome. Okay, engine pressure coming up. In one coming up. Awesome, awesome. Get the engines all synchronized here. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Petra? <laughs> um, I need to get my plane location turned on here. There we go. Yeah, I did back up a little too far, I think. I think I've got everything I need from this flight plan, so I'm going to go ahead and close that up. Uh, let's see, engine start is good. And I can do that again and get back in the simulator. Okay. That's all good, that's all good. What do we got left? The packs are still off. So we turn those on, and we can also turn on the airs and the probes. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the strobes now. I should have turned on the seatbelt lights already. Mimicking the flight attendant. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I thought it was funny. <laughs> okay, hold brake. That breaks off. Start rolling. We're going to taxi around here on Gulf. Just that away. I think we're all set for takeoff. I got the flight director on. Um, the APU is still on. Oops. Forgot to turn that off. Got to do that. Once the engines are running, you don't really need to have the APU. There was lightning right there. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, there's somebody landing. You don't have any landing gear. <laughs> Mimicking is is correct, yeah. I think I'm supposed to be over here. I think that's a border. Border area. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe this is a border. No, wait. This is the taxiway over here. <laughs> okay. This is the new terminal at um, New Orleans. Um, I actually have a 
What is that? Hang on a sec. I've got a helicopter there for some reason with a big yellow wall in front of it. Weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Um, I think we can go... Mm, this doesn't have any lines on it, but whatever. The taxiways in MSFS are a little weird anyway, so... Oh, come on. It says takeoff config OK on the display, so let's get up in the air. Not from here, though. We have to line up on the runway. Um, I'm probably going to take a moment to pop out my displays because it's easier to see them when I pop them out. Whoa. Set the parking brake for a second and let's pop out our displays real quick. And that way I can just pull them over here next to the chat, still see what's going on, and be able to read them a little bit better on the other screen. Sort of. Uh, let's see. I need to turn on the landing lights, and the strobe's already on. Don't need the logo in the daylight. Uh, everything's looking good up here. Power. Yep. And everything down here. Oh, ATC on. Weather radar is unimportant because it doesn't actually work. I think we're all set. Ready for takeoff. Throttle up a little. Power is looking good and synchronized, I guess. Now we'll throttle up to toga power. Again, so good at starting this plane up that it doesn't take me very long, I noticed. 80 knots. V1, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And enable the autopilot. Take us away. I do notice that I just forgot the um, barometer, but oh well. <laughs> and switch the heading around so we're on a base. And I am going to look up what that barometer was supposed to be. Uh, 29.98 is what it should have been. I really need to just turn on the synchronization between the co-pilot side so I don't actually have to look. I know I can, but I don't like to. That's just like a ch cheating way, I feel like. See, we're good for direct. Caitlin, execute and turn on nav mode. And away we go. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, I mean, I know I could do that, but I don't. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I need to turn up the speed, too. Ah, god damn it. No, no autopilot disconnect.
Got the speed set and looks like it's recovered a little bit. I always forget to set the speed up more so that the departure is actually at a good speed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that if you scroll the mouse wheel over the this bar right here, it actually disconnects the autopilot. I'd never done that before. Goodbye, New Orleans. It's kind of hard to see, but New Orleans is over here somewhere. And we're flying over this big, gigantic lake that's north of New Orleans. There's a line in the middle of the lake. I wonder what that is. Oh, is there a bridge there? Or something? I don't know. It could be something. <laughs> It looks like it goes right up to that little point there. Yeah, there's New Orleans City, the downtown area. Uh, the French Quarter is actually over this way, I think. Why am I overspeeding? Oh, because I didn't put the flaps away. Check the altitude, the lights, everything's good up there. We haven't quite reached 10,000 yet. Figures I jump out of the airplane and we're over speeding. Go ahead and turn this up to 280 for cruise. And we're just about to 10,000, so we'll turn off our landing lights. And flip the no smoking and seatbelt lights to auto. And I can disarm the reversers because I don't need those until we go to land again. And I forgot that again too. It's supposed to be on so that we can actually steer the plane with the rudder pedals, but... Unfortunately, no, I'm not a real pilot. I wish I was. It would be fun. At least I think it would be. Of the few times that I've been on a plane, it's been a plane that's even smaller than this CRJ. And I did kind of get like lightheaded, dizzy. Insert name here to insert name here. Louis Armstrong, New Orleans International to Charlotte Douglas International, ghostly. It's all good. Cuckoo. We need the no refunds text that I use in cargo fire stream sometime. It's like, please enjoy your free drinks. And remember, cargo fire express and its affiliates bear no responsibility for any bodily injury, property damage, mental trauma, or death resulting from this flight. <laughs> And there are no refunds under any circumstances. The pop-up. Like to pop it out onto another um, window and, and move it to your other screen. You have to use specifically the right alt key. And whenever you use the right alt key and you hover over a display, it'll make the um, cursor into the magnifying glass like that. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. And whenever it's a magnifying glass like that, you can click. You were just clicking mouse. Yeah. Yeah, you got to use the uh, right alt. And it has to be a right alt because it doesn't work with the left alt. And we're just now passing uh, 18,000, so we're going to switch our barometer back to standard. I'm going to go over here and change that option now. Uh, I want it linked. Uh, everything else there is good. Save. 
next page. Airports. Are you playing Fall Guys? That's awesome. That game looks so fun. But I've never actually gotten it to play. Looks like we're making good progress on climb. The other night I was trying to climb out of New Orleans here because after my stream I came back and I flew this flight actually uh, before now just for practice but there was a lot more cloud cover and I was getting icing as I was trying to climb so I kept turning on the anti-ice and the anti-ice uh, actually slowed down the engines and made the climb slow down so I wasn't getting up in the air um, as quickly as I would have liked. Make those displays just a little bit bigger. <sighs> but yeah, Fall Guys really looks fun. I want to play that someday. And now we're on autopilot, so I can just chat with you guys. How's everything going? Are we having a good day? Outside, we can look at the clouds a little. And it's beautiful here. Man. Ooh, there's some lightning there. Oh, I'm sure I will. It's cross platform, right? So I could play it with, uh, you know, anybody, really. Elevation 748, so I need to set 740 on the elevation. Forgot that. There we go. Gotta remember to do that. It's okay, today's been boring because when I'm excited, stuff goes slower, and I'm excited for Far Cry 6. <laughs> cool, cool. I don't think I've played a Far Cry in a, room, in a while. I remember playing Far Cry Pri Primal. Um, I think I had one of the Far Cry's before that too, but I can't remember. Is that a rainbow? You can see a rainbow right here. Might be too low resolution on the stream to see, but there's kind of a rainbow right there. It's kind of disappearing now, though. That was cool. <laughs> Ooh, I can hear the thunder from down there, though. Thunder from down under. I do like to go into like the showcase cam and then fixed cam and then all the way to here, I think. Yeah. Wait. There we go. These two are the side view cameras. We can just sit here and look out the window. 
Far Cry will have planes and tanks and helicopters. You can use jetpacks with rockets, ultimate abilities, and a rocket wheelchair and a new rank system. Wow, that sounds fun as hell. <laughs> I really need to set up my camera controls uh, on a like Xbox controller or something. Something on my screen right there. In the plane? You can, but you have to use the free camera. At least I think you have to. I don't think I can move this camera. If you go to camp drone and set it up like. Eh, I don't want to set it too fast. Set it about 10% ish. Whoa, that's still too fast. Okay, there we go. And then we can slowly just kind of ease on inside the plane. Sort of. It moves around a little too much. But yeah, you can... Bah! <laughs> it's really going up and down. This is what happens when you don't have a seatbelt on. Uh, yeah, I have a PS4, Ghostly. You should know that. I've been playing games with uh, Sav on PS4. Uh, Call of Duty back, you know, before. Ah! Window view plus music from your phone is awesome. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. I've got hiccups. <laughs> now that's not true. You have the same size brain as everybody else. Oh no, you lost? How the hell? <laughs> Only you, Ghostly, could possibly lose at the gambling. Um, I think there's also slots. If you wanted to do slots, uh, I think. And then, I know they have a minimum. Darn. There's slots, um, there's something else. It seems like there was something else that I put on my, um, bot. Yeah, the clouds in this game really look good. Pretty fantastic. Let's go up to the cockpit and see where we are. Um, 34,000 feet. Engines still look good. No warning messages. <laughs> really? You think so? Those kind of look a little weird to me. I guess they're alright. Actually, the resolution on the stream might not be good enough for you to see, like, the tiny little bits of pixelation that I have on the clouds. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, because I can't see it over there. But I mean, they do still look really good, I think. I've had a lot. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the clouds in the game, saying they look too 
fake or something. I think they look really good. There was some lightning again. I just love this huge window on the side of the flight deck. That's the oxygen mask. In case you lose cabin pressure, that's where you get your uh, oxygen mask to put over your mouth so that you can breathe. And it says on the display up here how much oxygen we have. Whoa, come on. 1,840 PSI of oxygen. This shows the cabin temperature, the cabin altitude, cabin climb rate. When I'm in a plane and I look out and I see the blue, I think I'm in space. <laughs> cool. Um heard about any simulation about their A through 10. Yes, I heard about that. Uh, uh, I think it was yesterday. I think they just announced it yesterday. So yeah, I was actually over on 757 Spies uh, channel and people were talking about it there. And I think I was on, no, men didn't stream. Wait, did she stream? I don't remember. It might have been on Mint's Discord. It might have been there that I saw it. Coming up on that altitude cap, and then we can throttle back a little bit to cruise speed. Yeah, apparently that inability say 310 is going to be like 70, 80, or 90 dollars, something like that, is what people are suspecting it'll be. There, and then just very gently throttle back to there. A yeah, little too much. So sensitive on the throttle. I wish I had a better throttle for this. Like the honeycomb. Uh, Bravo throttle would be nice. Hell, I'd take the Logitech SciTech throttle $160 for Far Cry that's insane ghostly jeez that's a lot of money for a game I mean sure I'm sure it was some kind of collector's edition and you got a lot of stuff but jeez but yeah, that's the case with a lot of these planes that come out for different simulators. They cost a lot of money because it takes a lot of work, especially for the airliners like this and, and the bigger planes like the A310 and stuff. They have a lot of systems that they have to work on simulating, and it takes a lot of work for them to get it just right. And so they cost a lot of money to uh, purchase once they are, they're released. It's pretty crazy. Far Cry 6 Gold Edition times two for you and your son as a pre-order bonus and season pass. Cool, cool. That's cool. See, I'd probably just buy one copy and let my kids play uh, on it when I was uh, wasn't playing. <laughs> At least that'll work for now. Eventually I'll have to get them all uh, computers and get them both computers and they'll play games with me. I don't know if I'll be able to get them interested in Flight Simulator. It's a little boring and I don't know if they'll be able to pay attention. But there will be other games like... Um, uh, shoot, what am I trying to remember? Fall Guys, probably. I mean... My kids are, uh, how old are my kids? <laughs> Two and three, I think. <laughs> so 
so it'll be years before they uh, are old enough to really play games with me, I guess. But yeah. Uh, also, I don't know if you were here the other day, uh, Ghostly. I did say something about this on stream the other day, is that I've pretty much given up on doing things for work that I don't enjoy. I mean, I'm still going to work a little bit for now, but what I'm trying to do is I really want to get this stream up and running as a source of income for me so that I can actually make money at doing something that I love and entertaining people at the same time. I think that's a great goal, you know? Um, definitely something to look forward to, especially with the community that I've built up just by being friends with the people that I'm friends with, you know? There's so many great people who will come watch me just because we're friends. I have people who will come in here and lurk even though they can't stay all the time. Sun is on Xbox and you're on PS4, <laughs> PS5. I see, I see. That's cool, though. I know, right? What are friends? Uh, you wouldn't know. You don't have any friends. I forgot to set my heading bug. Hi, Panther. How are you doing today? <laughs> Did you not stream today, Panther? I don't think I saw you on at all today yet. Adopted son and friend. No, you didn't stream? Okay. Well, that's a shame. Please go check out Prowling Panther. He's um, pretty awesome. He plays a variety of games. Uh, he's currently playing Star Wars The Force Unleashed. He likes to play a lot of uh, like truck sim like I do. And he does occasionally play a flight sim, uh, though I don't know if he streams it. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome so much. It's always good to have people in here and and, and recognize them, you know. Don't stream flight sim. You have no idea what you're doing when you're flying. <laughs> yeah. You actually work with trucks in real life, so you know some things about that. I don't do anything with planes and anything with planes in real life, but I'm learning about that, so, you know, I can explain some of the stuff that happens. You see, the wings, when they move through the air, they cause air pressure above and below the ring to change so that the wing creates lift because of the wing wants to go towards the area of, of high pressure or low pressure. I need to review my basics of lift. Yeah, Fabio goes through it a little bit quickly. And I actually haven't seen Fabio fly this plane since I got it mm -hmm. well he might have but I don't know I've been watching various different um, videos on the plane and you know I just learned really quickly how to start it up quick and get it in the air it's a little annoying onto this scent and you have to control the throttle because like Fabio's always saying it doesn't have auto throttle so you have to be on that um, auto throttle back and forth as you're going down you put out some flaps you have to throttle up a little more you put the flaps uh, spoilers in you have to throttle back if it gets too fast you throttle back put out a little spoiler it's just it's just, it's just crazy all the things you have to do to manage the speed while you're coming in in this plane um, planes, I'm not able to run since it first came out, right? Yeah, um, I just got this plane like a week and a half ago. 
Um, truck sim is multiplayer. I'll get it and play with you, Calypso. That would be cool. It does have a convoy mode. Um, I mostly like playing American truck sim uh, in convoy mode, and then uh, on Euro truck, I'll play on the Truckers MP um, mod multiplayer that they have. Yeah, the AI traffic still being able to have that in multiplayer is nice for the convoy mode. Uh, I know some people who don't like traffic at all, but, you know, I like driving with the traffic. If it's not too bad, you know. Sometimes they get annoying when they just don't stop and they drive right into you, but that's pretty much like real life. No, I haven't seen that yet. I I did see where they announced that, you know, the next version of, of Convoy is going to allow mods. I was like, yes, that's good. I can install those um, pro mods, uh, maps, and everything. Same mods as the host for the moment. Okay, cool, cool. I wonder if that would include, like... I know I have a mod for my driving in VR that moves the route advisor because in VR naturally the route advisor pops up right over the um, steering wheel right in front of the dashboard and I have a mod that'll move that back over to the side where it's supposed to be uh, like it is on the flat screen game so that it's not blocking the view of my dashboard. I wonder if that's a mod that everybody would have to have to be able to connect to the game. Even though they may not all be in VR. That might just be a client side mod that probably wouldn't have an effect on the convoy maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't. I've had it on in flat screen too and it doesn't do anything messy or anything. Uh, let's see, we're going to want to descend to 7,000 when we get there. So uh, let's go ahead and set the altitude to 7,000 for that. In preparation, whoa, too much, too little. God damn it. There. That's all set. <clears throat> As of right now in the public beta, everyone must have the same mods. They're trying to figure out how to distinguish client-side mods from the server-side need mods. Cool. Well, hopefully they'll get that all fixed up eventually. Um. Although I haven't been using the route advisor as much lately. Um, my big idea is to like just use the um, discord for voice chat and talk to people that way even though the in-game CB radio isn't that bad it's actually really nice the sounds on it are really cool too Uh, according to our information, we've got about an hour of flight left to Charlotte. So, about out of drink here. I'm actually going to take a quick break here. Leave you guys watching my plane. I assume it'll be okay. Um, actually... Instead of putting it on that, let's go to that and do not that one, that one. Wait. Okay, that one. There you go. You can have a wing view out of a window. If I watch it, will it do a trick? Oh. If only. Alright, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Um, don't go nowhere. And I'll, I'll be right back after I get a drink. Thanks.
Did the plane behave? It looks like it is. We're still cruising along at 37,000 feet. About 57 minutes left to Charlotte, it says. Immediately goes everywhere. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Let's see, how are we doing there? I need to pull the throttle back just a hair. The problem is the tension on my throttle isn't enough. And it likes to kind of move on its own. But it's not too bad. I can usually get it to set. Well, yeah, obviously, Panther. We, we all know that. Am I actually flying through clouds? It's weird when there's clouds this high up. There usually aren't, but, you know, sometimes there are. Um, no ice messages, though, so that's good. Damn, something about this chair. I think I need a new chair. Shoot my friends in the face on armor, and I'll leave the tab open for you, but probably won't be able to hear you over the dock of sound. <laughs> All right, you have fun in armor. Sounds like a good old time. Be sure to shoot, um, uh, what's his face? Fuck, I can't remember his name. Nipples. Shoot nipples a lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Triss! His name's Triss. I just remember. <laughs> Have a good time, Panther. See you later. Thank you for leaving the tab open. There is a lurk command, too. Alright. Thank you. Awesome. Have a good time lurking. Sounds like a fun old time shooting your friends in the face. I'm gonna shoot my friends in the face. Let's see, we're still on our way to best waypoint. That's awful uh, heady of them to say they're the best waypoint. Jeez. Hi wifey, how are you doing? You haven't missed much. We're just cruising along. We still have, according to the plane, 54 minutes until destination. But we will start descending here. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 15 to 20 minutes or so is about going to be the descent. Um, currently flying over. Uh, Gondor? Seriously, there's a waypoint down there called Gondor. That's just hilarious. I might do some fun things afterward, honey, yeah. Uh, apparently the Chiefs are playing right now, but I'm not going to be watching that. I like my new uh, strategy is to look at the score after the game and see how they did. It's much healthier for my heart, I think. All day fly! I'm actually going to take a look possibly at a helicopter. I downloaded a couple of freeware helicopters. I've never flown the Airbus helicopter that's in the game. But then they have that, and then they have a um, new one that's a Blackhawk helicopter. Yeah, they have a Coast Guard uh, helicopter, and then I think the Navy helicopter. And I think they have one that doesn't have a any markings on it at all. 
could be cool. I don't know. I've never started the helicopter from Cold and Dark before, so that could be interesting. I don't know if they have a checklist. We could do that, or we could do like a smaller plane, maybe. Wouldn't mind doing a helicopter, though. That's something I might, uh... Put a command on my bot for, is the Flight SimTO website. If people start asking where to get mods, that's a good place to get free things. Yeah, there's a lot of liveries on there. Um, there's the helicopter mods. There's a lot of free sceneries. It's one of the best places to get free sceneries. They have one for London Gatwick that is insanely awesome. And it actually comes in several different detail levels because it's so detailed at the highest level. tired again and I just realized I have to go to the bathroom now so quick another step out of the cabin for me and I'll be right back excuse me guys <laughs>
back again. I'm trying something new is sitting up a little straighter in my chair. It's really not a comfortable chair. I think I need a new chair. Hmm. Good tailwind, it looks like. Wind just blowing slightly across our tail, but mostly towards the back of the plane. And it's a good 31 knots. So the wind is kind of pushing us along. We're going along at a ground speed of 494 knots. Welcome back, Posty. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. What do you mean, Fall Guys or Skyrim? I've played Skyrim. Never finished it, though. I did want to get the Skyrim that's on VR. Um... But, I mean, I've played it before. I really do like it, though. But, yeah, if I had to pick, I'd get Fall Guys. No, we're not descending yet. We're still at 37,000 feet. We have not reached top of descent yet. That's why I'm just sitting here patiently waiting for us to get to the top of descent. This is pretty much what the real world pilots do. They make sure everything's good on the plane, check the instruments every once in a while, make sure everything's good and within limits or whatever. Stuff like that. But no, yeah, we're still good and flying. Up and away. See, this looks better than frickin' New World, and yet it runs smooth. There's definitely something wrong with New World lately. I don't know why. I'll have to work on it after stream and see if I can figure out, you know, what's happening there. Oops. Come on. Close that. There we go. There are some really high clouds, though, today. They're not bad, though. Just watching the f um, clouds flow by. Of course, it's nice in the sim because you're not actually in a plane. Um, that flickering on the side of the window is a little weird. That's probably because of the sun being that way. Or that way. Or no, this way. 
because the camera's backwards on the stream, I think, or something like that. So the sun would be back that way, it's shining and making a shadow or something across to the other frame that's over there on the other side. Skyrim. Skyrim is great. Getting ever closer. Top of descent should be coming up pretty soon. Let me get back up here. Make sure we've got everything set for that. I will turn my range down on this so I can see it better when it gets there. That looks good for now. And we'll watch for the top of descent marker. We should be getting pretty close. I do have my water now. off again. Greatest pilot of all. Yeah, I don't think so. I learned a lot of the stuff that I know from Fabio. And he's actually a licensed pilot. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Got a stretch. I do need some more plant redemptions. I need to add like a stretch, hydrate. Things like that. Oh gosh. Mm. Ouchies. What's a gorilla to do? Hey, look at that. My hair kind of disappears over there. <laughs> Funny little green skin thing. Curious if like somebody came and sat down in the chair that's behind me right over here, if the camera would pick them up or if it would keep that all like uh uh outfit out like it does. Because this is the um NVIDIA broadcast software that's keeping that all um alpha out. I don't have a green screen. I just have the NVIDIA broadcast software and it keeps it all um, cool. Press the stall button. <laughs> this stall button? All that does is test the stall system.
think you can only do it on the ground, though. I don't know what it would do in flight. And I don't want to find out. I like landing my planes. Getting ever a bit closer. It's bad enough when I go in for landings and it keeps telling me that we're uh, sinking. Don't sink. Don't sink. I can't help it. The plane is slowing down. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have a quote system yet. That's something else I'm going to have to work on. Is the quote system that Sav has, isn't that on um, uh, Nightbot? Because I only have Streamlabs right now. <laughs> no, no, that's me, honey. <laughs> oh, but it's never fast. Never mind. That's not me. I love you, darling. <laughs> I love you so much. <gasps> Savannah! Redhead, she's here. I to see, savvy baby. It's so good to see you. Look, I got a shout out, and I remember to use it this time. Hello, you gorgeous woman, you. How's it going? We're just on a little flight. I tried to play New World earlier, um, and it didn't work. Um. Yeah, I also like uh, did like things like that, and I've got a a Ko-Fi. Um, y'all know my um, Discord, I think. Woodcock actually joined my Discord. I think Ghostly has now too. I haven't looked at the Discord yet, but I saw him pull it up earlier. <laughs> I think you already have me on the socials though. Uh, what else did I add? Oh yeah, I turned on Gamble. Um, and there's slots. I think there's something else I turned on, but I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> well, I figured on these long flights when there's not much to do but look out the window. People need things to do, like gambling and slots. <laughs> um, Ghostly was just talking about the quote system. How did you set up your quote system? Um, is that on? Is that on Streamlabs or is it a Nightbot thing? Streamlabs got back? Okay. Then that shouldn't be too hard. I should be able to find it and set it up. I'm trying to remember if there's any other commands that I want to set up. I could add the that's what she said command. <laughs> My OG command, that's right. Have a wonderful rest of your day, Pootra. Thank you for coming in. I will enjoy the rest of my flight. It was great to see you. Um, I hope you come in again. 
See you later. Take care. Be safe. And all that good stuff. I remembered how to add commands. <laughs> hey, Savannah, say something in the chat. Come on. Something, yay. Do you see the little diamond beside your name? Because <laughs> you are the VIP. Oh, it's getting a little hot in here. I need my fan better pointed at me. Ooh. Yeah, sometimes it takes a couple of messages for you to see it. There you go. <laughs> I've noticed that in places where people have added it to me in the middle of the stream. I'll type in something and then it doesn't show up. But then... After I type a few things, it shows up. <laughs> Yay. All the hearts. No. All the hearts and the... Oh. I am almost to top of descent. <laughs> Good thing I looked. Okay. Now, we can start going down. And we're going to pull the throttles back just a little bit. Wife. By the way, Savannah, that's my wife there. Lesby witch. <laughs> uh, according to this, we're still 120 nautical miles from Charlotte which is about 25 minutes according to this but then we do have to do the approach which could add a little bit more onto that so we'll say about a half hour to 40 minutes <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> Savannah is my sister from another mister <laughs> Just about there Everything is descending Everything's looking good there. We want to slow down just a little bit so make sure the plane doesn't go too fast down. Why are you pissed off, ghostly? Uh, Woodcock was here earlier too, Savannah. He's uh, lurking uh, as, uh, at the moment, I think. He had to go do something. <laughs> All the beautiful people, the beautiful people. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry. Or <laughs> we'll do it again. No. You stop. <laughs> Watching Sav play Doom on an old love and saw a dude count when I searched Sav's name. <laughs> we 
Tim. Honey, shh. Don't tell everybody, jeez. I mean, I'm pretty sure they already know, but. <laughs> On an old live and saw a rude account when I searched sad name oh I think I know what you you're talking about ghostly because I searched uh, for Savannah on the um, twitch app one time and I think I saw that same account it's horrible I don't like it insulting my sister like that go ahead search your name on twitch Savannah there's another account that's says savannah redhead but then it says something after it i can't remember if it's sucks yeah i think that's what it was yeah i saw that but then it has zero followers i'm like somebody's a troll <laughs> yeah sav is wonderful and awesome and uh, doesn't suck at all well, I wouldn't say doesn't suck at all because I don't know that. Never mind. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> sad, sad people, yeah, indeed. I, I stopped myself before I went too far, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we all love you, Sav. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be some reason why we keep coming back to your stream. <laughs> Not that. God damn it. I give up. This is this is over. You're not going to get to see my landing. <laughs> so what do you think of my camera, Sav? It came on today a little dark, I think. I pulled it up and I was like, it looks strange. But it actually kind of looks good on the stream. So, yeah, I'm not too bothered by it. I'm going to pop the spoilers back in. Let's see. Let's see. What's our next altitude? Ah, that's something else I need to check real quick. Is, um... Where's that software? It's over here on this screen. I need my... Destination altimeter, which is three zero zero four. Awesome. Ricky is crazy. Why is Ricky crazy now? I mean, you knew that before, so it's not like it's news. <laughs> Remember, I want to try pull up this flight recorder thing and record my final approach stuff. If it comes up, come on. There it is. Gonna put that over here. Uh, yeah, I'll put it there. And record and stop record. Hmm. Interesting. He can't pick a woman, so I told him to do it like he does cars test drive three or four then. <laughs> Honey.
That just sounds so wrong, honey. I mean, it's hilarious, but it's it's just wrong. Whoa. Plane going down fast now, and now it's going back up. And now it's turning. Holy crap, it dived there for a second. That was a little crazy. Ice. That would be fine. Turn on some anti-ice for a while. Should be good. Looks like we're maintaining good speed right now. Um, our next speed restriction should be around 210 knots. That'll be a little ways to go. And we're just now crossing under the 18,000 feet, so I have to set the altimeters for, what did I say it was? 3004. So it's 3004 here. And, oh man, it synchronizes it with the standby too. I, d I don't like that. I kind of want to have to do the standby on its own. Oh well. All good. Um, let's see. Well, that's just a setting that I changed in the plane. Normally you would have to change them all individually, but I saw a setting where you synchronize them and it changes I thought it would just change the pilot's and co-pilot's sides, but not the standby instrument. It's like, meh, oh well. Is it Thursday, Ghostly Man? That's the only day she doesn't stream unless she's doing something else. Of course, I haven't looked at Discord either. I don't know if she has anything else uh, going on that she needs to take care of or something. I don't know who you're talking about. Good grief, it's going into a nosedive again. Crazy. <laughs> raps! Hey, you raps, how are you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> Great, now I've got two salves in here. Sort of. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we? I'm gonna say it's good and go ahead and turn on my landing lights already. Uh, all those lights are good. Seatbelt signs are on. Savannah wraps head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> To the left, to the left. Almost there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit my record button over here. Hopefully this uh, flight recorder thingy that I've downloaded won't crash anything. It's supposed to record, you know, what's going on in the game. And I should be able to go back and watch my landing afterwards, hopefully. Maybe? I don't know. I don't even know what it's doing. It's recording, it says. Um. 
Wow, we really need to slow down some more. Holy crap. This descent's a little rough. We keep <laughs> nose diving down and then coming back up again. A little crazy, but it's all good. We need to slow down a lot more though. We're way too fast. Probably should be good. Uh, let me see, I need to turn my range down on here. Make this turn and we're on our downwind leg. This is a bit of an unusual approach to Charlotte. I've never done this approach before. I usually come in on one of the uh, runways that runs straight north-south. This one runs kind of northeast to southwest, and we're coming in on the southwest runway. Um, at least I think that's right. Yeah, the wind is currently 270, it says, at Charlotte, at 7 knots, so that should be a good... Uh... Oh, we're not on downwind quite yet. The airport's over there. And we're coming in on like a base leg, I guess. When you get a really good plane, you should do a nine hour flight and we do a community film stream and it would be fun. I've tried to do long flights like that. I get bored about halfway through. <laughs> there was one time that I was playing a, I was playing in the X plane 11. I had my Airbus A350 plane, which is a very large uh, plane, very high tech. It's got very fancy screens in the front and all these touch screen things and everything. Um, and it's a long haul plane. I was flying it from Dubai to Singapore, which is about an eight or nine hour flight. And I got bored somewhere over India. down into the clouds. Should be good on the V now. About to make a right turn here onto the downwind. And then we have to vector in for the approach. back a little more set speed for 180 ish oops man that's 170 that's good enough out another notch of flaps and that's getting us a little too slow don't want to go too slow For the approach, I need to set up that chart over here. I'm going to need 2500 on the altitude, so let's go over here. You can see my altitude. It's probably behind my head for you guys, but there's 2500 on the altimeter there. We should be cruising along at 7000 for a bit here. And then I'm going to hit heading and switch to heading mode so we're going on the heading path and when we get abreast of the waypoints here because our waypoints back here and that's a really odd angle right there we're gonna keep going straight here and then turn to hit the next waypoint of course the big issue is that it wants to descend again
keep that speed up and here in a moment I will re-engage the nav. Wonderful clouds here over Charlotte today. Ooh, look at the water. I remember seeing that whenever I landed at Charlotte that one time. Charlotte is one of the few places I've flown to in real world, real life. Um, let's see, we're on approach, so I'm going to go ahead and arm those. We're going to go into the computer thingy here. And we're going to set for direct to tell, execute, and hit nav. And we're playing going too fast again. There, come on, slow down. You're good, you're good. You got this. And we're coming around to get centered on the approach. Yay! We're almost there. I'm very interested to see how this flight recorder software I have works. I don't know what it's going to do exactly, but I think it'll be pretty cool. Okay, we can slow down just a little bit more. Let's try to get the speed stable down here. Okay, that's good. There's the city of Charlotte right in front of us, cool. Very nice, very nice. Throw out another notch of spoiler or flaps. Throttle up a little more, and I'm going to hit the approach button, and then switch our nav source, and go back on nav, and that should center us on the ILS. And I can barely see the freaking runway. Holy crap! Oh, oh, oh. Too fast! Too fast! Okay. Feet on the pedals. We got about 10 nautical miles to go to the runway. I'm going to set for approach speed. Turn out that last little notch of flaps. No. Slow down. That's good, that's good. And landing gear down. This is the hard part that I usually have issues with, is controlling the speed on final approach. Because it likes to get really, really low. You can barely see the runway out here. But we have the right uh, lights there, two red, two white. Need to go down a little. Come on. More throttle. Versus our arms, seat belts are on. Everything looks good there. Still have six and a half nautical miles to go, it says on the uh, localizer. I'm gonna stay on the glide path here. Yes, I know. This is actually coming out pretty good. Just slight adjustments to the throttle as we go down. Try to keep the speed up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the autopilot. And bring it on in. Uh, 
little high. But we'll be good. This is a shorter runway, so I'm a little concerned about that. One thousand. But I think we should be alright. Yep. Game's starting to lag. Figures. <laughs> Good glide path. A little bit to the right, or yeah, right here. Five hundred. Look at that! From six miles out, I flew it right in. Four hundred. <laughs> Whenever you're flying plane, you watch the front threshold here as you get closer, and then as you get over it, you look for the other end of the runway and keep your eyes up on that. Whoa, 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 a little fast. Come on. Twenty. Ten. Oh, game froze. Reversers, brakes, and we're down. It was probably a little bit of a bumpy landing, but it's all good. We're down, we're safe, we're rolling. We didn't blow up. So that's awesome. We and we're off. Nice. No one died, you win. Woo! Goal! Let's turn on our APUs up here. We can turn off our runway lights. We don't need those anymore. And then I need airport chart so I can see where I'm going at the airport. We have arrived in Charlotte. That was fun. Uh, let's see, I can go down here and unarm these now. I can set that back on, disconnect the flight director. Hmm. Great, now I have, like, bad hiccups. That's something else I need. A burp command like Sav has. <laughs> I think these planes go to the terminal on the other side of the airport, so... We'll have a good burp. Better out than in. <laughs> I'm just going to pull into one of these piers over here, I think. And before I do anything else, I'm going to see what I can do with this replay software. I'm not going to shut down the engines just yet. I'm going to leave those running. Because I know that's a thing in certain other uh, flight simulators where if you shut off the engines, it kind of messes up the replay. I don't think it would on this. But just to be safe, I'm going to leave it running for now. I'll pull right in the B10 here. Whoops, might have gone a little too far past it. But that's okay.
perfect parking. I'm going to turn the parking brake on. And I'm going to go over here to my flight recorder and stop recording. And then I don't know how to do anything else on this, so let's just see what happens. Let's go to the showcase camera. Let's go to drone. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Let's see. Replay. Whoa. Cool. And now I'm actually watching me fly the plane. This is supposed to record, like, all of the systems of the plane as I fly in. Let's try to go up a little farther here. Uh, can I? That's so cool. Can I fast forward? Oh, oh here we go. Times? No, that doesn't do anything. Pause replay. Here we go. That is so cool. Oh, look at that. The landing gear comes out. Okay. Resume replay from here. Okay, the landing gear is... weird right now. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to pause it and back up a little further. That's weird. Let's see what it does over here. This looks like it's on our final turn. This is so cool. Uh, resume. Let me get back to this over here. Landing gear still looks a little weird, but it should be okay. <laughs> I don't know how this replay thing works. It may crash the plane. Let me stop the replay, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. This is cool, though. I do like that I can actually... Gear is stuck down though. Looks good there, I think. And get back in here. Wow. Replay is so awesome. The sound sounds a little weird, but. Cool, can actually watch the landings from outside. It's a little skippy, but I think it's all right. So cool. Being able to rewatch the landings is kind of cool.
<laughs> freezes up a little bit every once in a while. That's no big deal. That's where we were starting to go down just a little bit too fast. It's like, wait, 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 not that fast. <laughs> Oof. Slow down. Uh, look pretty nice, though. Cool. I like replaying. That is awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of for fun to be able to watch my replays back. Oops. Turned too far that way. And turn the other back the other way. These little things, er, they were popped up right there for a second. Those are the ground spoilers. Whenever you land, it'll detect there's weight on it, and it'll throw those up to try to stop you. Also, the engines go in reverse uh, thrust so that you can um, uh, slow down the plane that way, and you use the brakes on the main landing gear to slow down. That's really cool. Um, let's go back a little bit, let's pause replay here, and I'll take it back to right about, right about here, and I'll change the camera to wing camera, that looks good, and resume, wow. and now we can watch the don't Landing sink. from the uh, passenger window. Don't sink. Four hundred. Don't sink. Three hundred. Don't sink. Two hundred. It didn't tell me don't sink that much on the actual landing. Don't sink. One. Yeah, it's like we're inside the don't plane. Don't sink. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. And then I was like, whoa, 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 too fast. Get down. 20. 10. And then it slowed down for some reason. So this game lags a little bit, but not so bad. Hey, we got down. It's it, Everything's fine. Everybody lived. I have to say, this is a really cool software, this uh, recording software. I have an active flight. The landing was probably a little hard. Yeah, landing rate was 484 feet per minute. G-force wasn't bad though, it was only 1.12 Gs. So it was just barely over 1 G, which isn't really bad at all. Better than it was going to be. But yeah, this replay software is really quite cool. Hmm. Nifty, nifty. Uh, let's pause and go all the way to the end. That should put us back where we were and stop replay. And then I think I can hop back into the cockpit and we are. Whoops. Set the parking brake. Good, good. Didn't have the parking brake set there for a second. And now I think... Uh, brake overheat. Oops. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to pull that up. I want to shut off the engines, for one. Um, once the engines are off... That I can turn off these lights. I can turn off the seatbelt lights, and we can go over here, put the chocks in place, and open up the doors. Take the stairs, and the jetway isn't going to come over. Ah, eh, that's okay. Everybody can just uh, you know, get off on the stairs, and here we are in beautiful Charlotte. Hope everybody had a wonderful flight with Calypsia Air. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I have to turn off in here? 
Turn that off. Uh, that's all set. And I'll leave that stuff on. And... Oh, I should turn these off already. And this one. Turn the packs back off. Turn the circulating fan off. Nav lights off. Pumps go off. Ground power and battery master off. Okay. Well, that's that. And I get a sneeze. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, well, it counted it as three landings because we went back on the replay thing and did it three times. <laughs> Two times, I mean. That's kind of funny. Uh... Morning. This will return you to the main menu. Yes, I know. That's where I want to go. Well, that was fun. What shall we do now? Well, let's see. Um, I was wanting to look at the new helicopters. Um, see what they do. I haven't ever played with a helicopter on flight sim before. Um, can I save the replay? Yes. Uh, do I want to save it there, though? I will save it. Hang on a second. I'm going to put a folder down for my flight sim replays. New folder. Flight sim replays. I misspelled replays because I hit too many keys. Oh, come on. There we go. Save it here. Saving. Cool. So now I can like load that if I want to, right? Let me check something here. I want to see how big the file was for that. Um, my files, flight sim replays. Uh, 9,900, so 9.7 megs. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. Impressive? Most impressive. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder how it works when you load that back up. I'll have to try that sometime. Okay, let's see here. We landed at Charlotte. Yay. This is not Charlotte. This is Louis Armstrong, New Orleans. We flew from New Orleans to Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte. There's Charlotte. Let's fly around Charlotte in a helicopter. Let's pick a place that's out away from the main terminal. I don't know where anything is here, so we're just going to pick, like, hmm. where would be a good place to park a helicopter? This looks good, I guess. And then go up here, got an aircraft selection, and I believe my helicopter that I want to try is down here somewhere. There it is. Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk. Comes in all kinds of different liveries. Wow. Camo. IAF. Bundish here. HML. It's gray, green, sand. Low-vis. I like the low-vis black. It's pretty nice. Nothing like a good black helicopter. Um... I think that's all good. Flight conditions are live. We've got all players. Okay, let's fly this thing and see if we can actually do it. I may have to end up pushing Control E for the uninitiated. For in MSFS, Control E is the key you press to start the engines uh, without having to go through the startup procedure. But I've never tried a helicopter yet in this. I did download one before, but it was mostly so that I could see other people that were using it. Because in some of the group flights that I used to participate in, um, well, I still participate in group flights, but occasionally some people will use like the helicopters and stuff. And I like to get the same things as they have so that I can actually see the helicopter in the game. Because if you don't have the helicopter, it only shows up as a plane. And it's kind of weird when they're flying a helicopter and you see a plane just kind of hovering around. <laughs> don't 
don't know how any of the throttle and trim and stuff is going to work, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I hope. Um, let's see, I can minimize that window. Here we are at the airport again. What the hell? Oh, right. I have to go into a another program here. Um, where is it? I remember reading this whenever I first got this helicopter. You have to go in here and go to the folder for it. And there's a program in there that you have to start before you can. Uh, there's the Airbus. Is it this one? Yeah. There and there. Come on, run. Airland. What is this? Oh, uh, hang on a sec. This may be a little bit too complex for me to fly. Config. Okay, let me go there, get ready to fly. And we're in a helicopter. Don't ask me why, but usually helicopter pilots sit on the right hand side instead of the left hand side like plane pilots do. There we go. Um, so, how the fuck do you do any of this? All kinds of things up here. Let me see. That goes forward. I can look down. Whoa. What the hell is that? Okay. I can see the overhead. We've got battery. It's not doing anything. Fire extinguisher. Hmm. Usually the startup stuff is up here. Nav lights on. To throttle control. Off idle. Does that? Oh no. That's throttle control, that's not good. Because the actual like throttle that you use is down here. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, I got the screens come on. That's cool. I wonder if there's a checklist. Let me check. Ooh, there's a checklist. Cool. Parking brake set. There's a parking brake? Is this thing on wheels? Oh, it is on wheels. Cool. So where's the parking brake? I don't know. And I don't see it showing me. Parking brake must be engaged. It could be over here. Oh, parking brake. Good, good. Okay, so that's set. Fuel selectors. This was a bad idea. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh no, my pedals aren't working either. I just noticed.
Well, at least I got the screens on. That's cool. Let's see if pushing that actually gets the thing running. Can't see the blades? over here to this city. This is Charlotte, North Carolina. We landed at Charlotte, so we're gonna, you know, come over here in this helicopter and check out the city. Unfortunately, yeah, I guess my, uh, my rudder pedals are working, but I don't know if they're animated down here on the floor. Yeah, they're not animated.
the Missy to fly. I mean, I could be doing it wrong because I'm not really experienced in helicopters, so I don't know. Let's go back out to the main menu and we'll, uh, we'll p pick something else to fly. What can we fly next? Um, let me get my other stuff over here set up and um, yeah, do this tiny plane. We could do a tiny plane, maybe. Tiny planes are actually really fun. There's Bonanza, there's Savage. really like this Cessna 208. It's a, kind of a like Skybus type plane. It's neat. A Robin. Aha. The Just Flight Arrow. That's one of my favorites. Hey, Woodcock's back. Hey, Woodcock. How are you doing? There. Flight conditions are fine. I need to figure out where our GA ramp would be. Because, let's see, that's US Customs. That's Air National Guard. There's the general aviation ramp is, let's see. Right here? Yeah. I'll take tiny plane. I haven't even taken off yet. Cancel that. Close this software so that it doesn't mess up anything on me for right now. Okay. Yeah, doing good. Thanks. Just had dinner, so I'm back for good now. How's the stream going? Wonderful, wonderful. We had a nice little landing into Charlotte uh, in that other plane. Um, it was a little laggy, but that's not a big deal. Um, and I remembered to turn on my flight recorder software uh, that I have. It's a third party software that runs in the background and it records like all of the uh, input data for the plane and like the state of the plane and everything. And so I was able to use that and then I watched my landing back, which was really freaking cool because MSFS doesn't have a replay feature built in by itself. So that was pretty neat. Now I think I'm just going to take this plane up and do some visual flying, just fly around randomly. I really hate the pilot that they put in this. They don't let you change the pilot either. Just as you have to dip out. You getting ready for your stream, Savannah? I hope you have a wonderful one. This is a plane that I told you about the other day <laughs> that I turned it on and it was like, there's no fuel. And there's only one tank of fuel now. So let's turn that off. Um, I actually don't want that GPS. We're going to go there. I'm going to recharge the battery. The fuel debacle, yeah. It only pulls fuel from one tank at a time, so that's kind of interesting. And why is it always in gallons? I want it in pounds. Alrighty. Not too hard to start up here. We'll set the prop to full. We'll set the mixture to full. We'll turn on the battery. Fuel pump. B 
beacon. And fuel is good. And that should be everything. fuel pump back off and I don't need that right now alrighty much easier plane to start up I'll just take a little Oh, short lap around the area here. I do want to try to remember that every so often in this plane you have to switch the fuel tanks. Check that the brakes work. They do. Go up and take off from the runway we just landed on since that's the wind direction. Let's see here. I want to go up this way. on preparing yourself, Savannah. I will be along and see you shortly, I'm sure. I love you much, sister. better at the planes anyways those helicopters are just really really complicated to fly someday though I'll figure out how to fly and the other thing is I mean with the game probably not supporting them just yet that can be something of an issue so We don't need the whole runway, but we'll go all the way uh, down here to the end. It's a long runway, but we'll be fine. Not gonna go terribly high. Let's see here, we're gonna climb out onto the runway. We're gonna turn on our lights. And turn into the center line. And up and check everything looks like we got everything good there trims are set everything's centered all righty hold the brakes throttle to full and off the brakes keep the plane lined up the thing about a single prop plane is that the torque wants to send you off in. I think this one wants to send you off left. And we're good for takeoff. And this one actually has retractable landing gear, so we'll put that on. Whee! We're just going to fly runway heading for a little bit here. We're still over the airport. You don't want to, like, turn and get into the path of another plane or something somewhere. Probably fly out and take a right here for real quick. I did not set the altimeter. Let's go ahead and touch, push B this time. Put the flaps away. And we're just about up. Good enough. 
the turn here. I'm scrolling up on my phone thinking it's a mouse so I can scroll out and see more. There, is that better? jaunt around Charlotte area here. That's actually really weird. I can't see anything that way. I actually throttle back so we can get an altitude hold here. Trim the plane up a little bit. It's much easier than a helicopter. But then again, that could be because I know how to fly a plane and I don't know how to fly a helicopter. Let's see here. I need to look at some gauges down here because I need to turn the prop back just a little bit to balance things out here. It needs to be about 2300. Extra looks good, and we can throttle up, and that should be able to keep us at a good altitude. We're sinking a little. There we go. Good altitude. We're going a little bit over 100 knots. It looks like almost 110 knots right now. I think we are going against the wind, maybe. That is fast enough. Such a beautiful smile. You hush, you. Embarrassing me in front of my friends. Not really. This plane naturally doesn't have an altitude hold, but they did build one into it. Yes, you could do it. They built like a makeshift altitude hold into it so you wouldn't have to like trim the plane and everything. It's like, eh, that seems like a kind of cheesy. This is a much better view of Charlotte than we had before. Well, sort of. These are all kind of generic buildings. I don't think they've uh, done anything with Charlotte. There's a baseball stadium. It's kind of cool. There's an entire another part of Charlotte over here. Kind of headed southeast. Try to go and turn. Hey, there's a shadow of my plane. Cool. I still want to find Charlotte Motor Speedway, but I don't know exactly where it would be. side of the town, but I think it's more on the north east side. Yeah, we'll 
I'll just do some messes back and forth across town. Just some outside flying. That's always nice. Head back to hell. I'll text you in a while. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'm sorry you have to go back. I hope it's not too bad. I hope they kick that one person out. I love you, sweetheart. did and I got a shank. No, the other person. That that one is the one I was thinking of, I think. I don't know. I'm trying to find landmarks that I recognize, but I did not spend a lot of time in Charlotte, so it's kind of hard to tell. anything is. Is there like a... There's like an eagle on the back of my plane. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. I only spent like one day in Charlotte or one night. Went and saw the Christmas lights at the Speedway. Don't think it's this far north of the town. But who knows, it could be. see something. Mm, that doesn't look like it. I thought it was there for a second, but no, nah, it's just a parking lot. Looked really weird. Darn it. Charlotte Motor Speedway. Definitely not this far out, I don't think. Seems like I should have seen it already, though.
gotta find like a better place to reference to on the ground. off of a major road, but I don't know where. There's no major road out here. That looks like a school football field or something. back towards the city, so we can head south. Wait, this is over here. We're in North Carolina, just north of Charlotte, and I'm trying to spot Charlotte Motor Speedway. I've been there once in real life, but I can't remember what road it's on. So it's kind of difficult to find. Ah, oh, graphics are great though. I could just fly like this forever. I'd have to come out down for some uh, fuel eventually, I guess. I keep seeing things in the distance that kind of look like a motor speedway, but then I don't know. Still good on the fuel there. Something out here, that could be it. There's a nice quarry here. I think it would be closer to town though. I think the city is back that way and lost sight of the building now. I can find it, but nah, no big deal if I can't. I think I've gone a little too far north of town now. Yeah, this definitely isn't it. south. Kind of southwest-ish, I guess. Kind of back towards Charlotte. That'd be funny, we just kind of turn around and head back towards town and then run into it. Near airport? Charlotte Douglas would be the closest major airport that I know of, and it's over this way. Um, the speedway is actually on the other side of town from the airport. lost sight of the city, so I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. I should be able to find the airport again, though. 
I know I flew north of Charlotte. And as we get closer south, I should be able to spot the city again. Yeah, there's... I think I recognize this building in the distance here. What is your gamer tag? My gamer tag is the same as my um, uh, Twitch name. Feel free to add me on MSFS if you'd like to fly a group flight with me at some point. I do intend to do that. Eventually. I don't know. Wait. Is that that mall? I kind of recognize this mall, I think, right here. If it's the same mall that I went to that time that I was in Charlotte, which I don't know that it is, but it's a mall, and it's kind of north of town, which is where that mall was, so that's cool. Awesome! I will get to that as soon as I'm done with this flight. After I'm done with this flight, we may be going for a little, um... Raid. Probably go ahead and turn back towards the airport. Disappointing that I didn't find what I was looking for, but oh well, it's all good. Uh, I think the airport's this way. Yeah, this is way too west. I think I need to go more south. Maybe I might have to turn on a VFR map or something. I think I'm way too north of the airport. Ah, here's Charlotte. Nice. We'll just head towards downtown Charlotte, and then the airport will be out this way, I believe. What's our heading? Actually, our heading's about right for so maybe just head that way. We'll get back in. Yeah, fair more helps. Um, I usually use automatic server regions, so that puts me on US East. Airport coming into view on the map, and I believe those are it's the runway lights for the runway I want. Huzzah! Let's get down. Get down. Probably have to go a little bit more to the right. No, we're almost perfectly online. Almost. Good, good. Oh, got a bug in my face. God damn it, get out of here. <laughs> Bugs are annoying. Oh, 
Awesome, awesome. for TCAS <laughs> so other planes can see me Quite a ways left to the airport, though, it looks like. But we are online for it. Normally, you'd fly an approach. The ATC would vector you in, but I'm not using an ATC right now, so I'm just flying straight at the runway from the right heading, too. I'm a little low yet. those lights Let's see when we start to get on the glide path Choppy the frame rate gets when I get close to an airport. of these trees real quick, make sure that I get the birds out of them. <laughs> Cross the threshold, focus on the other end of the runway. Touch down, the plane's going to 
Starts swerving a lot. We. Eh. Brakes. Slow down. And we're good. Woohoo. Now yeah, that was a fun little flight. And we're back in Charlotte again. At the airport. Uh, looks like there's a taxiway coming up on the left here. We can take. And we'll go back to the GA ramp. Uh, I can go my flaps way. Ah. Uh, well. Didn't find what I was looking for, but that was a nice little flight. That might be a GA ramp too. No, it says air cargo on the chart. Whoa, a bit of lag. Uh, I want to go this way, I think. And we're gonna cross the runway here. I probably should cross the runway at the next one over, but yeah, it will. Another one? No, I think I'm done for now. I'm getting a little tired of flying around. Although that was really fun. It was a good idea to fly a small plane. <laughs> Fine. I knew you'd understand. I love you, wife. Yes, you do. You understand I can't sit here on this 24 hours, right? no way. I don't think I would ever do a 24-hour stream. fun little flight around Charlotte area. We'll have to do that again. Like the next time I fly the CRJ somewhere, then I can like get in the Piper and, and fly it around just that area and, and check out like scenery. Um, I hear New York is actually quite nice and we're in Charlotte. We might head down towards Miami though first. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to plot my courses for the CRJ to go from like Florida all the way up the coast and then across to like uh, Greenland and Iceland. And then from Iceland, I think I can turn and go kind of down into Scotland maybe if I can reach it. I think it has enough range that I could do that. Uh, Facebook Live where I could join your stream and talk to you. You, you, you can do that on Discord, honey. <laughs> but anyways, I am going to go. We're going to raid my sister again, I believe, if she's on. I think she's on. I'm pretty sure she is. Let me check things on here. God damn it. Laggy ass computer. <laughs> I am working on building a new computer, and eventually I'll hopefully get that done. And holy crap, everything's slow. Give me a minute here. Everything's muted. Gotta go back to following. 
Actually, let's go see somebody else who's playing uh, Fight Sim, actually, might be a good idea. It depends on who's on. Eh, not really anybody good on there. Yeah. We're going to go over there. Say hi to my sister, Savannah. All right, everybody, thank you for being here. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for all the support and just sticking around and hanging out and enjoying the, the stream. I will see you next time. I love you. Peace.